Hello and welcome to the Manhattan College Jasper News Roundup. I am Chris Plate and this is what's going on around campus. Mental health is an important aspect of people's everyday life that is usually overlooked. Manhattan College and the Multiculture Center takes a look into the meditation and wellness. Zoe DeFazio reports. Manhattan College's second annual Day of Wellness took place on Wednesday, March 22nd. Various activities and stations, such as fitness and hydration, took place around campus at centers around emotional and mental health. Classes were scheduled to be canceled between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. so that students could be able to partake in the gatherings. MC's Multicultural Center, located at Kelly Student Commons, hosted a tiny talk, an intimate discussion with Dr. Michelle Bell, Assistant Professor for the School of Education and Health, to address the everyday hardship and stresses that students, faculty, and staff face. Dr. Bell provided an overview on coping strategies that touch on sleep, nutrition, mindfulness, and overall holistic well-being. And as I talked about in the beginning, um, kind of approaching ourselves and our world, um, or the way we walk through the world in a non-judgmental way, and that can be helpful in keeping our, just our overall well-being um, in a healthy place. Chris Calavito and Maddie Fitzgerald, sophomore students at Manhattan College, reflected on the talk and even learned a few things from the event. Okay, my biggest takeaway I would say is like, it can be really easy to be mindful. You just only need like five minutes, I would say, because the exercises she was telling us was like, basically just like, look around the room, hear something, but like really focus on it. Um, so this is information that I've actually like been using a lot. I really love using mindfulness techniques like every day. Um, it's really beneficial for me to be able to take a moment and think about what I'm actually doing and then get back to it. I guess I hope they enjoyed one of the activities or found mindfulness to be a tool that they could use um, in a small way without adding like another thing on their plate, which is one of the reasons I, why I like mindfulness is that you can do it anywhere, anytime, even for just a couple of minutes. Um, and I you know, I experience it as helpful, but like I said in the during the talk, maybe not everybody does, um, but I think it's worth giving it a shot. Along with that, students' personal wellness isn't the only thing to get an upgrade. The Scala Academic Room, located in room 215 of the Leo Engineering Building, has been undergoing a makeover. The Scala Room, previously used for meetings and presentations, was founded to be no longer ADA compliant and did not fit the egress codes of New York State. After the attack of the World Trade Center in 2001, New York had to update their egress codes, policies that aided people when evacuating in extreme circumstances. After almost 22 years, the Scala Room is finally being upgraded. Larger and wider doors have been placed for an easier and safer exit for emergencies. However, the room's full capacity will decrease from a total of 130 people to 57. According to the Dean for the School of Engineering, Tim Ward, the room will be back in use within the year. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Chris Plate, and have a good evening.